are watching News 12 Westchester, serving Westchester and the Hudson Valley. Now, the evening edition. Now, thousands of people here in the Hudson Valley may soon be paying up when they have to go to the hospital, even if they have health insurance coverage. That could soon be the financially disastrous scenario for anybody who has Empire Blue Cross Blue Shield. News 12's Lydia Weekai shows us why. That's terrible, terrible. Where are you going to go? Liz Downs and her daughter Angela are among the thousands who will soon have a tough time answering that very question when it comes to hospital visits. Very scary, very scary. We pay a lot of money for insurance. They have Empire Blue Cross Blue Shield, and by the end of the month, it may not be accepted here at Soundshore or here at Hudson Valley or here at Mount Vernon. I'm happy I got it done when I did <laughs> because then they, I don't know what I would have done. Unfortunately, this negotiation has been very difficult. Hospital officials announced Thursday that their contract with Empire is about to expire and may not be renewed. That's because Empire says the hospitals want more money from the insurance company. But the hospitals say Empire already pays little or nothing at all. Uh, they barely pay at the rates that the government payers pay us now. If you come in through the emergency room, your visit will still be covered. However, if you come in through any of these other doors for any other kind of procedure, you'll be considered out of network therefore paying out of pocket. I just about have the money to pay for the insurance. Many hospitals in the state operate millions in the red, while Empire is billions in the black. For the Downs, it simply sounds like... Everybody got greedy. The stock market people got greedy. The CEOs of all these big companies got greedy. They should be really ashamed of themselves. Lydia Uikai, News 12. We'll let you know what happens if those contracts do go kaput. Meteorologist